Hi guys, welcome to my second video on the Elite Zuma Turbo Trainer. So in the first video I did mention that the power output wasn't that stable uh, from the Turbo Trainer, which initially I thought was down to a lack of some sort of smoothing algorithm that my old Turbo Trainer had, but having used the trainer a few times I still wasn't happy that it was reading smoothly, the reading seemed quite erratic. And combined with that I was doing a workout that required some high power sprints in erg mode and it was really difficult to actually produce the high power. I just ended up not being able to spin the spin the turbo up. And in a couple of cases I just couldn't couldn't do the sprints. But I know that I can do it because I've used my old turbo and bikes in cycling studios and I was able to meet them power outputs. So I was really suspicious of the turbo. So I took it back and took it back to Halfords. They were really good, just gave me a new one and I brought it home and set it up. I've not really used it properly, it seems better so far, but then I've been away in Spain and Germany for the last couple of weeks, so this is the first opportunity I've got to test it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same workout that I did with the turbo when I first got it, the original one. I'm going to do that again now on this turbo, it has been calibrated and warmed up. And uh, then we will overlay the power outputs on, on top of each other and we'll see how they compare. Okay, I'll jump on the turbo now. Okay guys, so just to give a quick overview while we're in the warm-up, this, um, this is a custom workout that I've created, it's called Easy Intervals. It's basically a five minute warm-up, and then there are eight intervals, 30 seconds at 225 watts, followed by three minutes at 175 watts, and then we have eight intervals, um, 15 seconds at 325 watts and two minutes at 175 watts. Then a five minute cool down. So it's just a fairly easy, nice uh, interval session to do if you've just got an hour to kill and you've got, got no nice weather outside like today. So I've finished the workout now and I am now just looking at the data in Strava. Um, I know you can use various tools to compare overlays but I think it's pretty pretty easy to see just using Strava the differences here. So yeah if we, we look at um, the early intervals here um, at the beginning they seem quite off there's a lot of overshooting when erg mode's trying to adjust uh, adjust the uh, resistance there's just the power yeah adjust the resistance for the power um, but then it seems to stable out a bit uh, but if I just sort of zoom in onto a section here you can see that it's it's quite steady, but it's not that steady. Um, and then the intervals, they overshoot to begin with and then seem to drop down and stabilize. And then if we look at the sort of bigger power intervals here, admittedly not, not massive, um, we seem to get up there to the 325 target pretty quickly and it, it's fairly stable. But the the difference is where this is supposed to be 175 and we're between 160 and 200 it seems, uh, which is quite a lot of variation. Uh, and when you zoom out, the graph just doesn't look smooth at all. So if I swap to today's ride on the new turbo, and as you can see, it's so much better. It's um, we've got a real steady warm up which is nice and then we've got real defined intervals you can definitely see what's happened here um, if I zoom right into an interval it's just so smooth it's holding really steady between 170 and 180 just like you'd expect using erg mode uh, and then the interval seems to get up there and, and stay pretty steady as well um, the bigger interval it struggled with the change in power but unlike the old turbo that I think was faulty, which would usually, when you step up to a bigger power interval, would really overshoot and make it really difficult to spin the turbo, this one does it a lot more gradually um, and does slowly work up. And that does unfortunately mean that in a 15 second interval, you're not going to be able to jump to super high powers with this turbo. But I actually prefer this because at least then I'm going to achieve the interval somewhat rather than just fail. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And also, just to go back to the original one, uh, 
So my cadence was a little bit all over the place here. Maybe I was setting it up. I can't remember. It was a while ago. But then throughout the rest of the ride, I think my cadence is pretty smooth, around 90. Uh, and then same again on today's ride. So it's not my cadence that's caused this issue. But yeah, I think it's it's quite obvious just comparing the graphs. So that's the old turbo. That's the new turbo that the old one was definitely faulty. So I'm going to end this video um, right here. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it's interesting at least and might even help some people who do have a faulty turbo. Uh, 